name is Eric Gordon. I'm a senior conservator on the Monitor Project. And I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit about how we do the deep increasing work on the Monitor's engine. And what I have here is basically just a hammer and chisel. Um, and, and we're going to work a little bit on this area that's concreted. And the concretion is a uh, mixture of calcium, corrosion, and other marine life that's kind of formed on the surface of the object. So right here, you can see the actual edge of the monitor steam chest, which holds the valves that operated the steam engine right here. So these nice, clean, sharp edges, this whole area here is the original surface of the monitor's uh, engine. So we want to be very careful not to contact that or damage it in any way. What we do want to do is try to carefully chip away this material here, which is the concretion itself. Um, in some cases, and especially in this area of the engine, we've noticed that the concretion can also incorporate lumps of coal that were from the monitor's coal bunkers and fell into there as well. Uh, so we, um, we have to be careful uh, about that um, and uh, work to remove that. So I'll, I'll just try to demonstrate a little bit. You can see an area there where there is some coal and has a shiny uh, anthracite coal appearance. So that, that's actually right there. And carefully chip away the surface. See that it's, it's black. There I was able to remove part of the concretion. You can see there is some coal in there. But what we're doing is slowly getting down closer to the surface. We have to do it in a way that we're not uh, going to actually contact the uh, metal with the tool. You can also see that we have a bolt right here. We have a nut, a, a fastener that uh, fastens part of the steam chest uh, together with the engine right here. So we have to be careful to work around this and not uh, damage the bolt at all. we can chip that part away so we're, we're close but we're um, exposing part of it but we're not, not close enough to cause any damage or marks. Sometimes we're lucky and we can lift off a bigger area, so in this case we're able to release that. So now I've exposed a lot close, in fact that is the original surface right there of the steam chest. So we're going to stop right there in this area, so we don't want to cause any damage. 